Hello everybody and today I'm going to be going over my zombie apocalypse ice base. So hopefully you've seen the speed build of it that I made of this of this base. So let me show you around. So the ground levels are, are, are quite plain so there's not really much there is to see except for white snow bricks that I used but the main structure is built up on stilts so it's above any walkers that may wander underneath it and just over here on the built up snow over here I hid a little uh, box where you can open it up where inside there's a bit of coal that I used to start a fire. Now back at the front here there's to get up to the main building there's a little ladder that just comes up here to the main part here so you just walk up there there's a little lamp on the edge here just to shine down on the snow and to get inside you have to pull up this little hatch here let me just get it up there you go and pull down this round glass piece here to get inside so let me see it show you and this is the inside of the base. Let me just grab a torch so you can see. Uh, there we go. So inside here on the on the right there's a little bed for the man to sleep in. At the bottom left there's some wooden panels in a box. And at the top left there's some boxes. Or well, there's some drawers that you can put stuff in. And a and a fireplace at the back. Thought that looked really cool. And in the other end, just down here, I thought this I thought this was gonna be really fun, is uh, some windows where you can look in at the person and you can see completely through. They're completely clear glass windows, which is really good. Now I'm gonna give a shout out to my friend Chris, who gave me all this Lego for 30 quid for to help me build that base and my next massive base that I'll be making very soon. Now I thought this was gonna this is gonna be a really good base because it's all white and I think it's a bit different to all the other ones which are more green and black sort of thing. So I thought it turned out very well. This is the minifigure that I used in this set. I thought he looks quite cool with some barbed wire and a chainsaw in the eyes. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.